Have you ever given a shower or a party, the kind where you have a special guest? It's a happy time for everyone, especially your special guest. The party puts her in a happy mood, and it gives her a nice, warm feeling to know that her friends think so much of her. Just like that special guest. Your customers are special guests at Kresge's, particularly when you're the checkout cashier. Not only are you the last person customers see before they leave, often you're the only Kresge person they talk to when they shop in a checkout store. It's up to you, and often to you alone, to put customers in a happy mood. Make sure they leave with a nice, warm feeling toward you and your store. So at the checkout counter, you're a key person in your store and in the eyes of your customers. That's why it's important that you be thoroughly familiar with the job. It's up to you to treat customers like special guests. Be ready to welcome them. Be sincerely friendly and helpful. Be fair to your customers and to your store. First, be ready to welcome them. One part of this is get ready yourself. This is a matter of good grooming. Hair neat and clean and arranged becomingly. Hands and nails immaculate. Clothes neat and clean. In other words, be your charming best. So give yourself plenty of time to get ready. Count your cash first thing when you arrive at your checkout station. Make sure your change is arranged as it should be in the drawer. Then close the drawer securely. You keep the drawer closed at all times, except when actually putting money in or making change. Let's not take any chances. Make sure your station is spotless, the counter completely clear, and all rack displays well filled. Dust the counter and cash register. Make sure you have enough bags in the sizes you need so that you'll have the right size bag for every purchase. Another way to treat customers like special guests. Be sincerely friendly and helpful. Show your customers that you take a personal interest in them. It's as simple as one, two, three. One, be sure to look at your customers as they arrive. Just a brief glance and a smile. If you smile, your customer will too. Try it and see what a difference it makes. Two, it helps to give customers a friendly word whatever comes naturally to you. For example, Good morning. Nice to see you again. If you know the customer's name, use it. This is a special way of showing personal interest. Three, try to be helpful. Help them put their purchases on the counter, especially when they have a number of items. To speed up service, unload with both hands. Put everything out on the counter rather than checking the items as they come from the basket or cart. Large items are placed on the side of the counter nearest the customer so they won't hide smaller ones. Place the items so you can see the prices whenever possible. Arrange them in an orderly way so they'll be easy to check with everything behind the stick that divides the counter. Now you're ready to ring up the sale. If there's an item without a price on it, don't take the customer's word for the price. She may say it's higher or lower than it really is. So avoid charging too much or too little. Call your supervisor and get the correct price. Then continue ringing up the sale. The third way to treat customers like special guests, be fair to your customers and to your store. When you handle money at the checkout counter, you have an important job, but it's easy when you use the system your store has set up. Tell the customer the price of each item as you ring it up on the cash register. This is called sound off. You don't have to speak loud, just so the customer can hear you, like this. 10, 37, 25. As you tell the customer the price, put the item on the other side of the counter divider stick so the customer can see what you're charging her for. Packaged items that can be opened are priced on the merchandise inside the package, so you have a good reason for opening them, to make sure there's nothing hidden inside. Most customers are honest, but 
You can't trust all of the people all of the time. Merchandise in a bag like this has been paid for at the counter where it was purchased. The cash register receipt slip is always stapled to the bag. When these items come through, look at the customer as you pass the package over the counter divider stick and say, This has been paid for. You say this to assure the customer she's not being charged again for this item. This is a K-bag. Merchandise in a K-bag has not been paid for, only wrapped at point of purchase. You collect payment for K-bag packages. The K-bag has a serially numbered sales slip attached to it. Just tear off the stub portion of the sales slip when you ring up the sale and put the stub in your cash register. You turn in these stubs to the office cashier each day. When you've rung up the last item, look right at the customer and ask pleasantly, Is that all? Most customers will answer yes. But if customers have anything hidden, this perfectly natural question often bothers their consciences and they suddenly remember. Handle money with care. When customers give you the right change, Remind them they have done so by saying, Correct change. Thank you. When you have to make change, the computer register figures the change for you. The change due the customer is indicated on the register. Keep the customer's money out on the cash register shelf in front of you until after you take the right change from the drawer. Then put the customer's money in the register and close the drawer. Now you're ready to give the customer her change. To avoid any misunderstanding, count back the change so the customer can hear you. You gave me ten dollars. Your change is two seventy-seven. One, two, fifty, seventy-five, six, seven, two seventy-seven. In case of an error in making change, have the supervisor correct the receipt slip. Two signatures are required on every incorrect receipt slip. The supervisor will lend you a pencil to sign. It's a matter of policy not to keep pencils at the checkout station. This way, the supervisor is sure to sign. If there are customers waiting in line, the supervisor will open another station before she corrects the error. And of course, you always call the supervisor to open another station when there are four or more customers waiting in line. Customers don't like to wait and you want to give them the kind of service that keeps them in a happy mood. Always use good judgment in your packaging. Use separate bags if necessary, and never fail to put the customer's receipt slip in the package when you complete the sale. If a receipt slip is left by a customer, destroy it, so someone else won't pick it up and use it. Yes, you are a key person in your store, and in the whole Kresge operation. So, treat customers like special guests. Be ready to welcome them. Check your appearance, your attitude, your station. Be sincerely friendly and helpful. Give customers a friendly greeting. Help them with their packages. Be fair to your customers and your store. Use the sound off system. Handle money with care. And always close the sale the way you opened it with a friendly smile and a friendly word. Thank you. Come back soon. When you do this, when you treat customers like special guests, all your customers will leave the way you want them to, with a warm, friendly feeling for you and your store. And that's good business. Good.